Hey guys, how's it going? Serena Burke with Gypsy, how are you? So, I'm going to just hang on a sec. I gotta take this earpiece out. Okay, I'm back. Oh god, it's shaking. So, I'm using my new thing I have it's clips, and it has a light behind it, and then it has this holds my phone. Anyway, so you guys. This is what I'm growing. All right, I'll stop moving. Maybe this isn't gonna work, hang on. Okay, I switched it. Um, this is what I'm growing through right now. And um, this is gonna relate. Some of you are gonna be able to relate to this. Um, so, you know, have you been waiting for something for a long time? And now you're to the point where you're super antsy and you're like, I want to get this done. You know, there's an opportunity. Okay. I'll give you a little tidbit about my situation. So tomorrow my daughter's going into town, but I can't, I call it going into town. I cannot go into town unless it's purposefully. Yeah, there's a purpose. There's things I can do, but it's not working yet. That's not till the 21st, but she's not going back till the 24th. So I have an opportunity to make money, right? To pay for my um, power steering pump and, and get that fixed. Then I'm mobile. then I can get myself anywhere I need to, to work or to buy something, you know. Um, but see, I'm going to miss the work opportunity, but I can go tomorrow, but I can't. My crown chakra is going off, but I can't. Yes, I said I can't. And the reason is, because a short and curly hair away from all my dreams fulfilled, right? Step by step. This is the decision, the choice to stay in the pause, to stay in the pause. Make right decisions. Think things through. Don't let the ego get in the way. Because, oh, Serena, is it that big of a deal? Well, if I go into town tomorrow, the only places I have to stay are toxic for me. It's not a possibility. Not unless I want to go back to the old me, gee. So I'm not going to get frustrated. I'm not going to get upset because if I haven't learned anything up until this point, it's this. There's a reason for the pause. Before, I would have been like, yeah, I could totally go stay there. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll go get high for a few days. And then I'll go sober again. You know, I'll help do this. And then I can work on this. And I can do that. And I can do this. See? No. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. And this is why it's super important that I um, get this apartment, a, a studio, a place to stay, you know, at least three months. But I want to pay for three months up front. I'm thinking $1,800. And that's all utilities included. This is what I'm throwing out. Yeah, I know dream bigger, but you know what? All steps. God already knows. The universe, everything vibrate already knows. Because I think it. I've spoke it. It's in my heart. But you see what I'm saying? That's freaking close. That's freaking close. So close. I don't have the proper things to make these other bags so I can, you know, sell them. 
It's okay. It's okay. I have faith. And I believe. But this is for all of you or anyone who, who is growing through the same thing at the moment where you recognize how bad you want something and you want to be there. But you'll, you'll wait. You'll listen to your soul, your higher self, to God. Because you've done this before. You know this pattern. You recognize this routine and this pattern. Call it self-sabotage. Or just call it a pattern. What you're used to. Because every time things are starting to look up. Because you feel it inside so deeply. You feel it inside so deeply. Just, all you have to do is open that door. It's just on the other side. Not right now, please. You fall into a pattern. It's a pattern. It's anything you, how you want to look at it. I could sit here and say, I'm an addict and I have to stay away from people who do that. No. I have to make a choice and a decision to do drugs or not do drugs. To go back to toxic relationships or not to. That doesn't have me by the balls or I'd be getting high right now. It's a choice. And see, if we could put a label to it that has this label like addict. You're all once an addict, always an addict. That's bullshit. It's a fucking choice we make. We either want to get clean or we don't. We either want to stay clean or we don't. It's a choice. Make a choice. If I wanted to get high, I would go do that. It's a choice. I could easily do that. I can go back to that lifestyle. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. The only thing wrong with it for me is not only my body's health, my mental health, but then I'm not pursuing what makes my heart sing. So I'll always feel bad. The people who get high and, and, and like to do it and they don't think it's a problem and, and it's not a problem for them because that's what they want to do. Let them do what they want to do. It's their life. Don't be Judgy McJudgerton and hate them for it. For me, I'm choosing to do different in a, in a way denying the flesh which your flesh is what? You're human, which is what? The egoic part. To me, when, when you when I'm 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 always looking at it on a larger scale than human in 3D. So um well you either get it or you don't. You know, and that's and I'm not gonna explain things I I say that. But you know I picked up my cup and literally it says hi or that's what I saw when I picked it up oh, I don't want to pour it out anyway it's moved since then some of it Hi, it says. <laughs> Interesting. Well, hello. <sighs> so, the old me, and I started to, but then I had to really stop and think about it. The old me would have been like, see? Everyone fucking does it. Oh, yeah, see? Like I told you, he's like, no worries. It'll work, you know, we'll figure something you know, and I'm like, you know what, yeah, well, I've been waiting for two and a half years. I've been working on 
three years getting back there. But waiting when the people say, I'll take you, I'll help you, I'll do this, I'll do that. I'm not going to hound you all the time. For adults, you say something, if you mean it, you'll, you'll do that, you know. Um, I'm looking at my hair. It looks like it's like in, in here with my glasses off. It looks like it's purple or magenta. It's weird. Burgundy, maybe almost. Um, so, this is the part of all the work we've done. You know, I'm going to say, once you can take accountability for your actions and the things that you do, instead of saying, I'm an addict, or I don't know where this is coming from, or I'm this, I'm, see, believe me, I started drinking alcohol at five. I was shaking at 15, 16, no, 16, no, 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 I might have been 15. 15, because 16 I was dating Stuart, so at like 15, I mean, I woke up in the morning and downed straight fucking whiskey. I'd shake. But what's funny about that is I only did that one time, and then I'm like, oh no, this is enough. I'm not doing that again. And lo and behold, I never did again. That's crazy. That's, that's, so... I've had this power. We've all had this power our whole lives. I'm having a squirrel moment. Take a beat. Circle back. A decision. The labels. You know, I can have a drink now, every now and then. Years ago, before, teenager and, you know, 20s and 30s, if I had a drink, I was getting drunk, period. If I had one drink, I was drinking until I was blackout drunk, until I was fucking hammer drunk. And I stayed that way for years and years and years and years and years, drunk, 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 drunk. Of course, I worked in bars for eight years, too, but um, that's not the excuse, but I was in the bar, might as well work in a bar, you know? Um, no, it's because of college and stuff, but whatever, I like to tease. But you know what I'm saying, though? Are you feeling me? Because. So I'm not like that anymore. What changed? My thought process. The way I looked at it. Methamphetamine. I still drank. I wouldn't say more because. That was the problem. I have the worst cod mouth, but I wouldn't drink it. Oh, anyway, that's so many years earlier into my almost said addiction. Thank you. Um, just saying those words, I just want you guys. I'm, I'm having. We're going on a squirrel for a second. This is a side note. The. Forgot my side note. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, I'll just keep talking. See, the thing is, for me, and I don't know if any of you out there have ever done something that you like to do to excess that... Um, everyone else in society will tell you it's wrong not to do it. Because you're this, you're that, it's wrong. Da, da, da. Anyway, um, then you'll relate. Possibly. The only reason why I say it's an issue for me to be around um, air people to stay walking up saying hey da, 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 I don't know you or whatever you know 
being able to do work like that, different. But to hang out with people I used to do all that with and to stay there where it's all, I'll just say this. It's not because I have a problem and I'm addicted. It's because um, I like it. It's not conducive and it's not good for me to. See, I'm not going to give it any control like that. I'm in control. I choose if I want to do it or not. It doesn't make me do it. Cigarettes don't make me smoke them. That's my choice. This is what I believe. These are my opinions. This is what I'm growing through right now. And I'm being honest with myself. For once, I feel like, as far as it comes to meth. Because before, the first 10 years, I didn't have a problem with it. I was going to college, buying a house. What was the problem? I worked all the time. What was the problem? I dated a guy that didn't like it. Then I went to rehab, and I just said, oh, my God, I do have a problem with it. Oh, my God, I'm addicted. I can't stop. I hate it. I just wish I didn't do it. I just fucking hate it. I spent so many years hating myself and hating doing it. It was ridiculous, but I did it anyway. Thinking it was all because of this, that, and the other thing. I like it and I don't. It's a love-hate relationship. Personally, I don't care about it, but every now and then I'll be like, yeah, I want to, but I, this is what I'm growing through right now. I'm not lying to myself anymore and saying, hey, yeah, fuck up, or maybe I didn't lie to I don't know. Like I said, everything's a choice. And um, what anyone thinks of me is none of my business. You can say whatever you want. You can think whatever you want, right? We all have our own opinions. And our human and our egos get triggered. But I tell you what, I'm very grateful. Yes. That I'm not allowing my human, my egoic pride, well, I don't know, whatever. I'll just call it human. It's easier that way. To say, well, yeah, but you need to go out there, at least, you know, you can start looking at your car, getting it ready, do this, switch out your winter and summer stuff, you know, and then you'll be there on the third day, you know, to, uh, to go to work and then you could do this and you could do that. But, um, you know, then I would be doing something. You know what? Yeah, there is a good possibility that I've done it before. I've stayed there before and, and been sober. But I'm not even going to risk that. Why would I? For pride? To see if I can? And I would love if, if somebody would just say, well, obviously you're addicted if you can't go. No, if you want to do something, don't you want to do it? help you get stuff done because you haven't done it in a long time so you'll be like hi I mean all you people that drink coffee and energy drinks you know <laughs> or maybe you take Adderall or whatever but you're not an addict you don't do drugs <laughs> so funny that's different it's prescribed by a doctor oh a licensed drug dealer that says it's okay. That gets people hooked on Oxycontin or Codone or whatever all those fucking drugs are. And then they have to go to the streets and do heroin instead. Oh, man. There's more people addicted to the pain. Anyway, I don't want to get into that. It is what it is. And those are things that make people sick. I couldn't imagine. Ugh.
how horrible that would be. They get you hooked on pain meds and then send you on your way and then what? I don't know how that works because I don't like pain pills, so I don't take them. Percocets, on the other hand, I would take if I absolutely had to, but other than that, no. I don't like the way they make me feel. They make me mean. They make me feel like, ugh. Obviously, I've been talking too long on this whole situation. I'm hearing... Yeah, but what does God have to say about this? Let's see. I'm still flipped open to Romans, and I highly suggest reading Romans 12. Wait, is that right? Yeah, Exhortation to Practical Living, Romans 12, 1 through 21. Isn't that cute? How they do that. Um, Romans 12, 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Be not, verse 2, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good, be acceptable and perfect will of God. Let's just stop there. What do you think all that means? Um, we have Colossians 3.14. We're definitely going to look that up. And first. Uh, First Chronicles sixteen eleven. We're definitely going to look those two up. Thank you, thank you, Lord. And thirteen. We've got sixteen, thirteen, one through four. We're definitely going to do that. Um. Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable, a living sacrifice unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. See, now I'm going to say, hold on, I'm going to read um, the third verse, Romans 12:3. For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you. For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, We have to look up what they mean by body. And we have to look up what they mean by everything. Okay. And all members have not the same office. So we being many are one body in Christ. This is verse 5. So we being many... Oh my gosh. Are one body in Christ and everyone members one of another the Christ consciousness the, the single consciousness yeah you guys read that on your own I don't want to get into that but um let's just look up these real first real quick hold on what I feel is so interesting about Colossians 3 14 that the title of the third um, of that chapter is renewed in knowledge in quotation marks all right so 3 14 and above all these things put 
on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Charity is, and there is love. So, and above all things, put on love, which is the bond of perfectness. 15. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. I went ahead and wrote on here three, one, three, because... Wow, I gotta say, wow. All right, oh, that's Romans. Oh, dang, you know what, you guys? I didn't have all the cards complete because I had the Romans in there. Dang. But here's um, 1 Chronicles 16, 11. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. Oh, and then we have 1 Corinthians. Oh, I already did. Okay. Okay, anyway. Anyway, there's some good stuff in here. <sighs> Lots of it. So I get into your Bible. But what I'm trying to say, you guys, is I guess is spilling my guts and being, you know, I'm being completely transparent. That's why I'm here. Because I know for me, when I was learning things and, and things that helped showed me that, that it's possible I can change things because I identified with and related to other people sharing their stories that really changed my life. You know, it started me, you know, took me out of that place of, of helplessness and hopelessness into, I can do this. They can, I can do it. You know, it's possible being able to relate to someone else. So, you know, I'm not going to sit behind here and make a facade and all that. That's why I come on here looking any way I do, shooting videos on the whim and doing it just like I do and not editing it because all of it's part of it. My belief, okay? So, persevering. You guys have no idea. Three years I've been waiting to get back to Colorado. Three years I've been working on my car. Three years. That's just this just this one thing. That's just this one thing. I've been working way longer than that on, on myself. But what I've grown through. But I refuse. I'm not going to. I, I, I'm not. I don't need to refuse it. I'm just not going to. It's a choice. It's a decision. I have to wait a little bit longer. If there's a reason, it's one thing. If I don't take anything out of anything, that's one thing I can know. Everything happens for a reason. Oh, the devil's attacking me. People are doing witchcraft. No, it's none of that. It's my choice. It's my choice. My decision. My life. Between me and in the Father who made me, that dwells in me. It's us. It's me. My free will. My choices. I'm not going back to that. I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm not. So, this is what I just heard. This is what makes or breaks you. This is what hinders or blocks your next steps or your things coming in your fucking mindset and what you do you know my daughter left didn't even know it she sent me a message but i'm shooting a video i'm gonna leave it here and say no 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 a thousand times no i'm not going back there Namaste, peace. Namaste, love. Thank you. Ciao, baby. Allow the pause to be priceless in your life. It's all our perception. It's all a choice. If you like doing something, 
then don't try to beat yourself up saying, I'm an ad, I'm this, I can never be better. Yeah, it's a choice. If you want to do drugs, do drugs. If you want, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Just do whatever makes your heart sing that can make your life better to make other people's lives better. If you took the guilt and shame out of it. It sounds like I'm promoting getting high and doing drugs. I'm not. I'm just saying, be truly authentic to yourself and go from there. As long as you come from a place of love. I mean, true love. That's, you guys know what I mean. You're either there or you're not. Um... We're all adults here. We should be anyway. <clears throat> and if I have young, I don't know what my audience is. <laughs> but to you young people, you guys, I'm 54. And I'm coming to realization. All of our journeys are different. But you know what? If you're watching this, then, then you already want a change. You already are better. You already are more elevated. You're young of your whole life. And you know what? You could do so much. You could do so much. Because it's you and it's your children. And their children's children that will be that will be rebuilding the new earth so now before you start having children or maybe you already have one or two or whatever but they're still young you can make a difference it's you you're raising the generation of this it's your responsibility how <laughs> we put it all on your asses but us elders are here to help you we're the way showers yeah, maybe we didn't do it right. I know I didn't. I fucking know I didn't. But I can't go back and change that. But I can do something because I've done the work to look at myself. Accountability is everything, you guys. Be able to take accountability for everything and to be able to call yourself out on the shit that you do and laugh at yourself. Oh, fuck. Because you don't know until you know. Awareness. Pause is priceless.